there. I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. So, obviously, we all know at this point, Declan Royce uh, has deliberated his um, decision uh, from the Ireland squad. With all this talk about England and, and being on Garrett Southgate's radar. Uh, what did you? What, what have you made of it today? Genuinely, completely and utterly stumped with this. Look, it's been it's been in the media now a couple of months. Ever since that last bunch of games, really, in March, even the whispers came from, I think, David Gold made a comment. And I think even if I remember correctly, Rice kind of said, what are you talking about at the time I'm Irish, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Then he said, he's to, to, to cut a, a, a story short, he said, it's a load of crap. That's yeah. what exactly what he said. And then he, so there was the Southgate uh, rumours. They seem to be put to bed then as well. And then for me, really, and I think I've, I've tweeted it a couple of times earlier, it's after the last bunch of senior games. So he's he was on a high. He was the golden boy really of Irish football compared to the next Paul McGrath etc people were debating about what's his best position for Ireland for years to come is it centre midfield is it centre half he, he after playing for the senior squad he comes back and plays in another 21 game at Tala we were both at the, yeah. in the game at Tala this was before the Turkey game yeah it was or was it, 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 was it after it just after it was, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, couple so of, it was a couple of days afterwards so yeah. he, he was quite unusual at the time because usually when a player from the, the opposite way yeah. yeah or like once they play senior football that's it they don't they don't play any more underage football and that's really it and they, they move on but he I think Noel Hunt or Noel King sorry beg your pardon asked him to come down and he was more than well more than wanted to come down Played the game, played a very good game actually. It was one of these crappy, crappy games, very frustrating game, a game that we needed to win. And then it's the the best thing in football. I think it's ninety fifth minute scramble, and we get a we get a winner out of no place. The place goes nuts. Rice, if you watch the video back, we'll tweet it from the page later, um, later on. He leads his celebrations. He's he's going in front. He's kissing the badge. He's going mental at the end of the game. Then they're all the players are all together throwing the shirts into the crowd. It's the biggest kind of most passionate support you could give to, to or show support you can give to your country he'd sung the anthem belted out the anthem before the game as well spoke to us in the mix zone a bit and to all the to all the rest of the journalists there as well this is how much it means to me this is how much it means to my family yeah, and everyone I, got home with a big yeah, smile on their yeah. face and then you're thinking that's it and then because even even the last while when it's it's come up in the media a couple of times and you're like ah, that's not going to happen that's yeah, not going to yeah, happen yeah. So look remember, remember back in March and then this has just come and just... But then it, it was the game, obviously, against the USA and all. He was coming out and he was yeah, talking like, about being the captain and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just incredible. He was saying how nice it was to be here and these things. And then all of a sudden... Boom. Uh, there was a bit, a couple of rumours about it last night, though, and I did see them and I kind of thought, I ah, know, that's, you know... Nobody it's expected. It's just paper, paper talk type yeah. thing, you know. And then, I, I don't know if you if anyone watched Off the Ball earlier on with uh, Kevin Kilban, and he's sitting there talking to these two journalists, I think. Um, and they're trying to say, oh well, you know, Kilban comes out and he's like, well, I think that it's completely wrong, regardless of what you're doing. If you're if you're playing, you've took three caps off an Irish man, is what he said. And I thought, you know what, this man's starting sense. He was so irate about it, like yeah. he had to kind of pause a couple of times. He was <laughs> no, he was, he was yeah, really no, angry. I, and if, yeah. you, if you get a chance to do watch it, because it is very good, and um, it's about ten minutes long. Uh, but anyway. He came out, okay. um, but he came out anyway, and um, he was just irate. Right, he was just like, "It's like, why would you bother? If if you didn't know, need time to think about, why would you play three times for the senior team? Why would you bother? If you didn't know, if you're watching, if you didn't know, why would mm -hmm. why would you uh, come and play three games for the senior team? It just doesn't make any sense." And he said, he goes, you, the way I would look at it, this is Kilban as a player, a former player saying, and Stephen Elliott also came out as well, I said it, and a, a, a young lad at, um, at Brighton, who's a, pro, a prospect as well, uh, Jay Malumbi, um, at Brighton, they all came out and were just like, how can you even have to think about this? It's like, your decision was made, you told everybody that you were Irish, there was no decision to, to make, it just doesn't make any sense. And now what he's after doing is he has to create a big backlash for himself in terms of nobody wants him now. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Like, no matter what happens now, if he play, if he comes and comes out, yeah, I don't want to play for Ireland, everyone's going to say, like, you can almost spec off. Good luck to you now. We don't want you. And a lot of former players have said that as well. Even Kilbane, you tweeted earlier on, something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing now, but like, I'd rather be 150th in the world and not qualify for anything than yep. have someone that doesn't want to play for us. That's to think about. Or sorry, I have to think about it, yeah. 
Um, if he if he does if so if he comes back to Ireland, it's going to be damaged goods, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. People will always have that resentment about him, and every bad game that he plays, or if he's a little bit off or he makes a mistake or whatever, that's going to be thrown in his face. He 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 claims for. England, he's probably not going to get in the squad at the moment, and yeah. even if he does, it's going to be the backlash there. Though. So no matter what happens, but the only thing I think is that if he actually comes in to the squad, and you know we play whoever uh, in the qualifiers or something for the Euros, and it's a you know a competitive game, um, because I don't think he'd be in a kind of friendly squad. I know the UEFA Nations League and all that to, to glorify friendly, but um. If he's put in for a competitive game and plays an absolute world and scores in the last minute, it's the only way I can see him coming back in and being welcomed back, if at all he is. Mm-hmm. Some people watching this right now are probably just shouting on the screen going, we don't yeah, want him back. Yeah, no, but, and that's been the, if I could sum up the reaction, what I've seen on just my own Twitter page earlier on, it's just people like, you know, that's it, they're done with him. They don't want it, they don't care. That Even if he wants to come back, good luck, that's it, it's done. He's, he's really crossed the line on a lot of people. Um, so it's very difficult to know where, where he goes from here. Um, like what? What would you do yourself? Would if he says, "Okay, I want to come back to Ireland," would you take him back? Yeah, I probably could get absolute pelters for this, but um, I feel like I would take him back just for his sheer quality. I would not give him any sort of responsibility in the squad whatsoever. I would have him in there. I would cap him it's like thirty seconds in at the at the end of the game, something like that. But I would cap him so he's. You know he's chained down then for all now, and then we don't have to answer to him. But I, I think he's gone now. So to the, regardless of that fact, I just think he's gone now, and I just think that, you know, he should have made this decision a long time ago, and it goes back to that thing I said at the start was why play three times if you weren't sure. Why come out and say to the media, mm. you know, it's all well and good, and like okay, he's nineteen, but he's not thirteen. Yeah, it's it's not like he was a young kid or whatever, but. The, the timing is just so crazy for me now because whatever about maybe last season when he's playing regularly in the Premiership, et cetera, et cetera, and he's looking at a potential World Cup squad, I can kind of get that, to be fair, like why he would kind of go, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down this route now, I'm going to try and get in the squad for the World Cup. But now, he hasn't played a minute for West Ham this season. He looks like he's going to struggle to get in. Well, he has. He's playing against Liverpool and got subbed off half time. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, but... Hasn't hasn't played has hasn't played very very much lately. Yeah, no, I get you. He's been uh, playing poorly. Basically. Yeah, and doesn't look like he's going to get a regular run of t- games in Pellegrini's team at the moment unless something drastic happens. It looks like he's Pellegrini has his mind elsewhere on what he what his preferred eleven is. So his chances to push himself to get into the English setup are, are slim at the moment. At the time, it just doesn't just it just doesn't add up. I don't see yeah, where, the, make any where the logic is whatsoever. Is it that he's just trying to, he doesn't want to tie himself down for this round of games and then that be it done? He wants to leave that door open? I don't know. Well, look, you, you called me out on it and you asked me, well, what would you do? What would I do? See, the reality is as much as I want to be really, really bitter and angry with him, it's not as if we, we've we've spoken earlier on. He's that's, good enough. That's to, what I'm he, saying about yeah, talent. He, the talent is there. But then you'll have people screaming at us now through the Yeah, I've been so well. Being like, they'll go down the Kilban route as well, saying I'd rather sink you know down the doldrums altogether. I think if you can if you can talk him around and you know he sh- he shows a genuine desire to get back involved and that's it and that's his last chance. I would probably I would I would. Well, he apologizes to the fans, but I think yeah. some, for some fans, I think he's done enough. But. I suppose that's you should just let us know that in the comments. Absolutely, it's one it's one really for the for the masses just to to give us your your. I would reluctantly take him back if yeah. if the attitude was right. Yeah, well, I'm kind of on the fence about it, but let us know your thoughts in the comments anyway regarding uh, Declan Rice. Would you take him back? Uh, would you like? Would you be happy to see him go and never come back again? Uh, let us know in the comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button now. And if you never want to miss a video, click the bell for alerts. For all our other social media platforms, check out this list below. And as always, thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.